Mary Potter Hospice has a big gap between the amount of money that it costs to run the hospice and the income that we get from the government and we need to close that gap. So our fundraising activities include things like a regular giving programme, bequests, applying for grants. The strawberry festivals are a really important part of our fundraising. We run two major strawberry festival events. We have bands playing and we sell our signature strawberries and ice cream. We think this year we might have sold about 8,000 strawberries and ice cream. Kiwis show a definite preference for paying by FPOS. Uh, we don't carry as much cash as we used to and we see that in all of our fundraising activities. And that's why we decided to partner with an FPOS provider to maximise our fundraising efforts. FPOS have been an awesome uh, supporter of Mary Potter Hospice and they're a real partner with us when we run these large community events. So they've been supporting us for some years now. Uh, the backup has been fantastic. The products that they um, create for us have been fantastic. And they're really lovely to deal with. We're, we're really pleased to have them as a partner in our fundraising events. At the most recent Strawberry Festival, it was the first year that our takings from FPOS exceeded our takings from cash. So year on year we've seen a 60% increase in revenue through our FPOS terminals at the Midland Park Strawberry Festival uh, and a 22% increase in revenue overall. It's been in the FPOS transactions that we've seen the growth. So these much needed funds allow us to offer access to our compassionate and quality palliative care for more Wellingtonians free of charge. So it's fantastic to get that income from our festivals thanks to the FPOS transactions.